Hey YouTube, this is Jake the Happy Snake here, and this is part two of my Pokemon movie walkthrough. In part one, um, we just started uh, started our journey. Like we just at uh, the very beginning, we were, we were talking to Professor Birch, and then um, we just got finished talking to May at the very end of part one. May was sitting in this green chair, as you can see with my mouse was spinning around on the green chair. She was sitting there, and then she ran out out of the house like a chicken with its head cut off. But anyways, um, so in this part, we're going to actually go meet Professor Birch and get our starter Pokemon, which is probably one of the most important things of the game, because you actually need a Pokemon in order to play the game. <laughs> Unless you have cheat codes. Anyways, which I do have cheat codes. I actually, there's the sheets up here, as you can see. Cheats, I can search, I can, I can search for cheats. But I probably not going to do that until I'm actually done beating the champion and stuff. So, yeah, Little Root Town. Here's a little kid. I can hear someone shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. And that somebody will be me. <laughs> help me! And there's, and there's a Professor Birch with a Poochie in it run, running around him. In Pokemon Emerald, it's actually a Zigzagoon. It's not Poochie in it. In um, Ruby and Sapphire, it's a Poochie in it. But in Emerald, it's a Zigzagoon. So that's the question. Hello! You over there! Please! Help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! And this is where you get your starter. Now, Trico, which is the one that be that Ben Boo two four seven likes, that my friend that I know that I know in real life. Um, this is um probably in between um the other two starters, uh, Mike and Petrochik, just because there's some gyms that he beats and some gyms that he sucks at. Like he's he's good at some gyms and he's bad at some gyms. So, and then there's Torchic, which is probably the worst start of the game, I would think. Um, just because there's uh like with the last three gyms, if you have a Blaziken, the last three gyms are uh, super effective on, on Blaziken, and the uh, first gym, which is a rock-type gym, if you did not evolve your Torchic uh, against the rock-type gym, then you're kind of screwed. Um, so I think he's the worst starter, which my old friend thinks that he's the best starter, but like, maybe, against the, maybe against the Elite Four, but not against the gym. And then, the best one, I think, Mudkip. There's like, uh, like three or four gyms that Mudkip is really good at. If you evolve Mudkip into Marshawn and Swampers, then you're then you're pretty then you're, then you're pretty good to go. Um, so I I just like Mike because he's super cute and he's and he's pretty strong I guess in gym like I said. So Pokemon I'm gonna be choosing is Mudkip. Super cute. Now I would speed through I would speed through this battle, but it's the very first battle of the game, so I'm not going to because I don't really want to. Um, but it's level two female Puchina, and I'm gonna and I got a male Mudkip which is good because I like having male Pokemon better. For female. So, anyways, I'm gonna use tackle. This is a really easy battle. The half HP. Yeah, I used to use tackle on me. I use fight. Tackle on him. Two attacks. Dead. He did two damage to me. That was okay. He fainted. Fifteen experience points. Mm, not very good. Woo! I was in the tall gra gra grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi. You're Jake the Happy Snake. This is not the place to chat, so come um to my uh, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Yeah, when you mean by later, you mean by like two, literally, literally two seconds. So, Jake the Happy Snake, I've heard so much um about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but um but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with Apollon. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all, and ew, that's gross. Seriously, dude, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh yes, and thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier, which was like little, literally two minutes ago. Uh, Jake the Happy Snake received the Mudkip! Yay! While they're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Nah. Since they're doing a walkthrough, I'm not going to nickname my Pokemon. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. It might be, um, it might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? Um, okay, I pr you press no, and he says, "Oh, don't be that way. You should meet my kid." And you have to press, you have to say yes. Like you have no choice. You keep saying no, and they'll just keep saying that, saying that message that I just showed you. So you have, you have to say yes, which is really stupid. Right. Um, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it, it means to be a trainer. I know what it means to be a trainer. I'm a really good trainer. I have like 40, literally like 40 level 100s on my Pokemon Heart Gold. So I'm not that bad of a trainer, Professor Worship. Really, what's your problem? Like, dude, get a life. Like, seriously. Hey, Little Root Town. 
All right, now we're gonna go train so we can uh, fight my rival, which is May. Route 101. I'll talk about this guy first before I train. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. All right, thanks a lot, dude. I already knew that. I'll speed through every wild Pokemon I find. It's the warm pool level three. I'll use tactics. Oh, yay! Wow, he's doing horrible damage on me. Seriously. What? It missed. Did my attack miss? I think it did. There, dead. I don't have no idea how much. I have no much. I have no idea how much experience. Okay. Pushing level two. You have damage. Wow. Fifteen experience points. Level six. I love Muscle Look at that guy, he's Muscle Up. Great. Let's talk to this guy up here. If Pokemon get tired, take him to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Bill Town right close by. I know that, dude! Seriously! Man! I just tell a, a low Tuesday to do. That's all. More than half HP done. Again, down. He experiences. Level 3, Wormful. Tackle. Wow. Well, almost down. Dead. 25, I think. I forget. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm going to get to about level 7 or 8. Then I'm going to battle my rival. 3, go, one pull. Oh, stop using that move. Stop using the move, I just said. Don't use string shots. I'm not a very good move. Well, it is to you, but it has to be. 23 experience points. Level 7. Good. I think I'm going to go. Now we're just going to heal. Hold it down. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. To, uh, we restore your your entire Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Okay. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. And I'm just gonna run from every, every wild Pokemon I find, which I'm gonna go super fast on, just so I can get the battles out of, out of the way. Same thing as if we just um the um, trainer battles that waste time. I'm just gonna go super fast. On Wow, no wild Pokemon yet. I spoke too soon. Run everybody right, safely. Okay, look! She doesn't even notice you! You're so close to her, but she won't even notice you. Like, seriously, May. Can't you see me? I'm walking right into you! Oh my gosh, May, you're so stupid. Well, she's gonna no notice me now. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include. Oh, hi, Jake the Happy Snake. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what of what being a trainer is like. I already know. Okay, you look just like your dad. You're just like Professor Birch. I know what it is. Um, I know what it's like to be a trainer. Come on, man. Man, you and your dad are so stupid. Your mom's like the smartest one out of the in, in the family. By the way, do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> oh, I actually really want. I've I've actually always wanted to know that. She has any brothers or sisters? Anyways, I'm challenged by a Pokemon trainer, May. Pokemon train mates in a Trico, which um my friend my friend that I know in real life, Ben 247, loves Trico. Uh, actually Grovile Grovile used to be his favorite Pokemon. Which I don't know why Grovile, but anyways, um he was Leer. Okay. My defense fell. There's tackle. Okay, not bad damage. I used again, he used pound. Alright, so yeah, did, did five damage, so a little more than um, than it would because he used Lyra on the first time. So I used Tackle, he used Pound, which keeps doing 5 damage, and I just took you out. Wow. I just took you out, mate. The Faux the, the Trico fainted. Lucky gained 69 experience points. Oh my gosh. And I was through to level 8. Awesome. Okay, I defeated Pokemon Trainer May. Wow, that's great, Jake the Happy Snake. You're pretty good. Well, of course I am. <laughs> I got three hundred three hundred dollars for winning. Awesome! I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you're just you just got that Pokemon, but it um, but it already likes you. Well, of course it does. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back uh, um, to the lab, and I, I I will head back to the lab in part three. So thank you guys for watching part two. I really do appreciate it. Please watch part three when I upload it, which will either be um, tomorrow or Tuesday, probably will be tomorrow, uh, I'm guessing, uh, we'll, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for watching, and please write, comment, subscribe, and God bless you. Bye.